chosen ones. You've got such a potent supply. And I've seen this through my own journey. You cause the narcissist to be fiending for you. You may not realise it. You may think that they've discarded you. They've put you through such hurt, such pain. That this person doesn't fiend for your supply. But that's because we're looking at it from a human perspective. When you understand that this is all energy and it's spiritual. You'll understand how the narcissist functions and what they display outwardly is not always the case. They harbour a lot of pain, they harbour a lot of hurt and they're distraught without you. They won't get over you. You have to understand that these lot are very good illusionists and they created an illusion upon you through the smear campaign through devaluation, through the hurtful derogatory terms that they called you or they said to the promises that they said they'll do, their, f- their future faking, all of that. they done all of that to you and it made you lose balance. But you have to really think back now, yeah? And you don't even, you won't witness, you won't really even see what they're doing. You don't see the inner dimensions of their mind. And they get a huge ton of bricks at them, yeah, on their head. When they when they walk into this new relationship, as hurtful as it must be, some of this is still fresh to you lot. But you they, they get the Eureka moment when they when they when they jump ship, you know, when they go for that low hanging fruit on the tree and they draw for anything after you. You have to understand that you have such value in comparison to these other individuals, these other sources of supply that the narcissist seeks out. So they feel the void. They feel like they need your supply. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But they feel like they need your supply and it leaves them fiending. And then they never get over you. But then because they created such a spectacular show of events upon the the discard or upon when you have to leave them and they cause such pain and such grief and stuff like that that you don't really necessarily believe that they could be out there they, they're out there fiending for you they want you back in their lives they don't know how to pursue it they don't know how to correct wrong decisions they don't know how to um rationalize they don't know how to get to a point of understanding where both of you could reconcile. They don't understand that. So don't be waiting for it because they don't understand it. They haven't got the technical ability to understand how to reconcile, how to come to uh, terms between yourselves. They don't have it. It's why you see all of these divorces across the world that happen, all of these crazy divorce cases and stuff like that. It's because... They don't have the ability. All they do is escalate and escalate and escalate. Yeah. So you'll find them. They'll find themselves with other supplies sitting there. But meanwhile, they're checking your social media. They're checking what you've been doing. They're catching up on your stories and all of that. They want to know what you've been doing. Yeah. And they're they're out there watching you lot. Yeah, believe you me, they don't walk into chosen ones easy. You've got to know your value. Check out five signs that you awoke as a chosen one through narcissistic abuse. That might be a helpful tool for you to understand where I'm coming from because you awoken to the fact that you're cut from a different cloth. You've awoken to the fact that you're separate from the rest of them. Yeah, and by you knowing that you, you're an enhanced being of light, yeah? This makes you even more valuable. So don't think that the narcissist doesn't see that you've awakened to their rubbish for the politest way I can say it. You've awakened to what they are. So keep your strengths about you and roll solo for a time. There's nothing wrong than being solo, alone for a time. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't matter how long it goes on for. There's there's certain crafts that you can get. And the more the more that you get into your established craft or your purpose, the more the narcissist is going to be fiending for you as well. Because not only 
Are you waiting to find someone who's truly deserving of you and you realise you're better than a narcissist? You're also aligning with your purpose and you're bringing your stamp on the world and you're bringing your unique touch. And by you bringing your unique touch and your stamp on this world, you're making that known to the narcissist. So whether it's you started up a business and you're posting something on your social media or you're, you're, you're doing something, you're now selling your book or you're, you've done something. You may even be doing something with the camera like YouTube or whatever as well. You might be doing something and the narcissist stumbles upon this and then they realise how much they, they lost out and they, they'll hear how much you've evolved spiritually because I know some of you have been separate for a while now, yeah? Some of you haven't, but you have to understand there's nothing wrong with researching and studying to find out more information because you went through a traumatic experience through dealing with these individuals, some people are caught up on these individuals still and they still feel like they love them and stuff like that. You have to put the shield of armour across your heart. You need to put the shield of armour there because, listen, if they, they want you back, yeah? And the moment that they truly recognise that you don't want them back, you'll see a significant spike in their behaviour because naturally, yeah, they, they, they can feel it with the energy. So when you start to actually really like, you're not interested in them, all of this stuff, you'll often see a hoover come out of nowhere. You might have not spoke to this person for years. In my circumstance, I hadn't spoken to this person in years. And then they hoovered me from a fake profile. They hoovered me from a fake profile. And they tried to speak like nothing had happened. And this was all years later and stuff. And... This is what happens. They can feel the energy shift. They can tell. They're running. They're running. They've got eyes on you. They've got eyes on you. They're studying you. Yeah. To see how you um, don't fall off. Like if they see you fall off, they'll be gloating. They'll be happy. Yeah. And this is why they keep a watchful eye on you. As I mentioned in another video, their main source of reason why they made such a toxic they were trying to bring you to your lowest point and i don't like to bring it up but they tried to a lot of discards happen where they're trying to make the person commit suicide they're trying to make the person go to the furthest end of the stick yeah and make them jump or make them do something horrible to themselves yeah or even get involved in toxic kind of living life like you know you see some people they break up from a narcissist and they'll get involved in a whole heap of drugs or alcohol, or whatever, because it's their coping mechanism, you know, but us as chosen ones, yeah, I'm not saying there's not, there's chosen ones in, that have taken their own lives what, before they've awoken, so you have to see the beauty to awaken to the fact that you're chosen, people don't really understand the fact chosen, but what I'm saying is, yeah, is you're not a psychopath, yeah, you're not a sociopath, you're not a narcissist, you're not, you're not a sheep, you're someone that has got high levels of empathy. You're someone who's different. You're an empath. Empaths are chosen. You've been chosen to have that unique gift about you. It's not a curse. Some people look at it as a curse, but it's not a curse. Because you've got to use that gift now and you'll be able to empathize and see from your empathy how this narcissist cannot, it will never get over you. You can see this now. If you study them, not study them, but you can feel it in energy. Just look at it in your mind from your from their perspective. They've done this hurtful stuff to you. Now they find themselves in a situation where they're not happy. Now they wish they was happy because they was more happy with you. And then they're now trying to turn a new supply into you. They're trying to make them look like you. They're trying to make you talk like you. They're trying to make them do sexual things like you. They're trying to do all of this stuff, trying to turn the new source of supply into you. It's never going to happen. It's never going to work in a million years because we're all unique and we all have our unique stamp. And that unique stamp is something that I mentioned earlier that you can bring to the world through your craft, through your purpose, whatever it may be. There's so many purposes out there. There's so many different things. You've just got to find one that suits you, one that's for your own ability. And once you get involved in that, you understand you'll be walk you feel like you're walking on clouds because you no longer feel subservient to another way person's way of life. You have to understand you as very subservient to the people 
uh, to these narcissists in the way that you have grew very accustomed to their way of doing things. And you need, you're need detaching from that now. You're healing. It's going to take time. It's going to take work. But you'll get there. Do you know what I mean? And just understand that these, these narcissists, they want you back in their life. They want you back in their life and they'll never get over you. So let them go and play. Don't detach your feelings. They could go sleep with as many people as they want. Detach your feelings because that's not worthy. Yeah. They're all about num. They're, they're all going for numbers, just trying to find anything. They're just going through, just trying to find anything. They will never find you. Yeah. You'll find someone of value. You'll find someone empathetic. You'll find someone loving. You'll find your divine counterpart, your twin flame. And you'll look back on a situation with the narcissist and think, thank God. Thank the universe that this separation took place because I would have not met my future soulmate, my future divine counterpart. Yeah, because that's the case. We were stuck in a situation with the narcissist. We wasn't moving forward. We needed this to happen. We needed the breakup. The breakup is powerful. We needed it to happen because it was the way of the universe and God causing a separation. So we find our value, find our purpose find our divine counterpart and you know what i mean we'll, we'll be in tranquility but anyway thanks for watching today please press the like and the subscribe button and i'll be back with another video soon peace